morning sunshines <laughs> I thought I would do a super, what I think is a helpful holiday video in that we're gonna go over what your gifts for the woman in your life could be. Because I know more about girls than I do about dudes, to be perfectly honest, so I'm gonna advise girly things. Things that I would want. Give these things to me. P.O. Box now, but I'm just kidding. Totally kidding. <laughs> but I did make a list of things that I thought would be cute gifts of different kind of budget ranges for you to get your girlfriend, your sister, your mom, your friend, whoever the ladies in your life might be for girls and guys, obviously not. So, here we go. Okay, girls, feel free to, you know, send this video link to someone if you like something in the video, and just put like a little, you know, timestamp or something with something that you like. It'll be a great hint. You're welcome, just kidding. Okay, first idea. This is something that I like. I don't know if everyone is on the same page as I am with this, but purses out, mini backpacks, so in. Oh my gosh, I'm actually obsessed with mini backpacks. I don't even know why. So the one that I was using the most recently, I guess, was my Gymshark backpack. They have a little mini backpack. It's a modest price, it's $25 on the website. They are still in stock, I just checked. <laughs> They're on the website. So that is the first thing. I wanted to show you proportionally what it looked like, but I literally cannot find one anywhere. I just had it yesterday and I apparently threw it into oblivion. However, I've most recently been using this douche bag backpack. Yes, it's called a douche bag. It says it on the bottom. But they have it in red, right? This is one that I got. It was like a limited edition one. Oh, but I love the size, the feel, the fabric. This one's much more expensive if you have a higher budget. It's $170, I think. And they have them for pre-order if you want the black, the red, or they have a white one, I believe. It's like a really light gray white. I love. It has this like little chain thing on it too. You just make it cooler. You can attach it to your other bags with these little things. It's pretty dope. So that's the pricier version of the backpack. And then I also have this one. It was in my white fox haul. Oh, it's the cutest little mini backpack you've ever seen. I love it. It's This one would be much more for where this would like a going out outfit or something. But I'm a backpack kind of girl. And again, I don't know if everyone else is on that page as well. Backpacks and fanny packs are my jam. So I think a mini backpack would be cute for any lady in your life. I'd be super stoked if you got me a mini backpack, so in my opinion, it's a cute first gift idea. All right, this mini backpack is going to be an in-between range. It's 80 Australian dollars, which is, I just calculated, is 58 American dollars. So it's a little bit more, but oh my gosh, it's so cute when the straps are so long and I just love it. Adorbs. Mini backpacks, 10 out of 10 gift idea. In my opinion, comment down below whether you agree or not. I don't know. Gift idea number two, here we come. Now, this one's more of a category. I wanted to give you like a couple things within this category that you could get your girl. But if the girl that you know, love, whatever you're getting a gift for, likes hair. I feel like most girls do, maybe not all girls, but a lot of girls like their hair. They like to care their hair, whatever. I have a few ideas for you, for your hair loving gals. If you like the pink that I put in my hair. The Kristen E's Rose Gold Temporary Tint. Now, so this is a good hair dye. It washes completely out of your hair from what I've seen, I hope. I mean, it's mostly washed out of mine, but I still probably have like two more washes to go. It's supposed to stay in for four to six washes. My hair lady recommends it, so I would recommend it just because she does. I also saw some stuff for something called Overtone that someone commented about in one of my previous videos. That's also like a temporary hair conditioner thing. It's supposed to be really good for your hair. So, and it makes it soft because it's not a dye, it's not stripping your hair. So I think a temporary dye is really smart. This one says it's for pre-lightened or highlighted blonde hair, temporary toning. So it's obviously going to do have more of an effect on a lighter hair because it has um, something to stick to while darker hair is just gonna give you more of like a tint. I also just got Kristen E's wand because I'm incapable of using a curling iron. Now I'll also link the curling iron that my hair lady uses on me because she's always recommending it and I think it works really well. However, I don't know how to use the thing when it has the thing on it. I don't know what to do. It confuses me, I get stuck in the hair, it's just a mess. Uh, so I like wands because <laughs> I feel like they're stupid proof. So I got this Kristen E's one and I really like it. So if your person likes to curl their hair, this is, a cool tool and I'm sure you could find other curling irons. I'm not 
sponsored or anything, you can get whatever curling iron you want. I just think hair things are a great idea. You can also make a little kit, a basket, gosh, I'm full of good ideas, and do like little hair masks because you can like soak your hair, it kind of helps it. If your hair's been in the sun and it's like damaged or if you straighten it or do any heat products to it a lot, your hair needs masking and nourishing too. So I think that's a cute little idea. Basket, you can do hair masks, a new hair brush maybe, your hair dye, whatever you want to put together in your little kit, you could do that and I think that's a great gift idea. I would love getting something like that because I like to take care of my hair. Gift idea number two. I got you. On to number three. Next gift idea. We're moving from hair to eyes. Now, this is not sponsored, but I have been working with Movement forever, so I have a code and a link, whatever. If you want to use it, if not, I don't care. You can probably find these on other websites. I don't even know. These are called their Ever Scroll glasses. Oh, look, you can see the reflection of all my lighting. <laughs> That's how I make my face look nice. Okay, Ever Scroll glasses. Now, I've been streaming and I play games, or I'm looking at my Nintendo Switch, or I'm on my phone a lot, or I'm on my laptop forever. At the end of the day, a lot of people are in front of their screens, and I don't know if y'all ever feel any strain from that, but regardless of whether I put everything on dark mode, I put everything on the the yellow light or whatever it makes it where it's not as harsh on your eyes. But still, especially when I'm streaming and have the lights on me and everything, my eyes start to feel strained after a while. So I asked Movement for a bunch of these, of their clear glasses, and I freaking love them. These are all sorts of smudged because you know me, I'm just <laughs> These glasses, I think they're hella cute, first of all. You have an excuse to wear them even if you don't need a prescription because I have LASIK so I don't need a prescription. And they protect your eyes from your screens. This pair is really cute. It's got like the little turquoise or what is this print called? Tortoise shell maybe? And then these, I feel like these all give me the like slightly different personalities. So this pair is just more, oh my gosh, the smudges, the fingerprint smudges. I'm a heathen. Okay. These are more like, I feel like Clark Kent, you know what I mean? Like, but also like you wouldn't mess with me if I was in the library. I would look like very strict. You know what I mean? I'm strict. I'm doing, so what? What did you, what? Can I help you? Can I help you? That's what these are. Now my favorites are the icons still. These have just been <laughs> my ride or dies for so long. I have them in the orange tint too, the orange sunglasses or whatever. But they're more like, hello, I'm Harry Potter. And I just think they're really cute. So these are probably my faves. But these are all have the same kind of, you can even tell there's like a slight little baby print to them, like tint to them. And I feel like, I don't know. I think that they've helped me, or maybe if you just wanna look like a nerd, I don't even know what this trend is, but I'm into it. I'm here for it. I am here for it. That is the glasses. They also have these little gift box kits where you can kind of get like a different amount of things. Do I know how to open them? No, okay. Ho oh, ho ho, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, how heavenly is that? Okay, so you can you get the watch and like the bangle in the same little kit. I'll put the prices and everything on the screen so you can budget accordingly. Yeah, but I think these gift boxes are just a great idea. They're very aesthetically pleasing to the eye. And you can get that big boy over here, ready? Ready for it? Ah, don't eat that, it says don't eat on it. Okay, so here we are. We have a glasses, a bangle, and a watch because they are movement watches technically. Cute. This one I, ooh, oh my gosh, this is one with the marble face. It's all wrapped up nice and safely. Ooh, look at that marble face, it's so pretty. <gasps> I'm obsessed. Love it, so here's the watch that you would get in this kit. You can obviously buy these individually as well. I have a bunch of these bangles. And they're just so cute to just add on to anything. So it's a little bangle, very simple, elegant. You can pair them with absolutely anything. And let's see which pair of sunglasses comes in this kit. I wanted to open it up like on camera because I thought like an unboxing would be cuter. So I've been holding onto this for like a week. Oh, oh, cute. It's the tortoise shell ones. I don't know if these are the same ones as those or not. Cause there's two pairs that look quite similar. So these are like, this is like in between the Clark Kent and the, you know, chill. Cause it's like, I could be like cute, you know, haha, <laughs> you that cute. And then you could also be like, can, can I help you? No, yeah. No, okay, thanks, thanks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> cool, love it, 10 out of 10. So there's your second gift box, which looks not as nice after you destroy it. <laughs> I think that's a great gift idea. In my opinion, I would be happy with a watch or I'd be really stoked with these because I just think the glasses are cool. I don't know if that's a trend that's everyone's on right now or just LA or if it's like a thing everywhere. I think it's cool. Moving on, idea number four. Next gift idea is pretty budget friendly and flexible. You can get a variety of different ones. I just found, I find most of my everything on Amazon. But silk pillowcases, ladies and gentlemen, 
this is this is why this is why you need a silk pillowcase so when you have extensions you don't want to pull or have them mat up in the middle of the night so i was recommended a silk pillowcase so it doesn't pull on your extensions and not your hair or mess up your hair at all which is also good if you don't have extensions to be perfectly honest you don't want to pull on your hair also also your face you don't want your face to age so this does not have as much grip you can more glide across it, you know what I mean? It's not gonna like pool on your skin all the time. Silk pillowcases are a great idea. They have millions of colors. I think the ones I get are like two for 20 on Amazon and, and they just feel nice and they look kind of like sexy on the bed, you know what I mean? Uh, so I have them in so many colors. This is my light blue one. I don't know why I got light blue. It doesn't match anything in my room, but I thought it was a nice color. So I have that. And then also girls, we girls, we ladies, maybe men too, I don't know, are creatures of comfort. So what I think is a great gift idea that I would never, ever, ever be mad about is soft, squishy things, socks and blankets. These two things, throw blankets. Every time you go to a dude's house, you're sitting on their couch, you're like, where are your throw blankets? I want to be warm right now or just like cover my feet up. It's a little cold, not too cold, whatever. Throw blankets are a necessity in every household, okay? You can put them at the end of your bed. You can put them on your couch. You can put them on a chair. You can put them anywhere. They're soft, they're comfortable. No one doesn't like a throw blanket. So this one I found at Bath and Body Works randomly. It was so soft. I touched it and I just I just had to have it. These you can find in a variety of colors. I recommend going to the store and feeling them out yourself. My favorite ones that I get are probably from Target that I just reach out and touch with my hand and then I know that I need it in that moment. I probably have a hundred throw blankets, at least 20. Like I have so many, it's disturbing, honestly. But you'll never be mad when you get one. And then fuzzy socks, any kind of socks, socks are great gifts. There's a variety of sizes and textures and everything. No one's gonna be mad at you for getting them socks now. When we're kids, maybe yes, you're like, okay, socks, mom, I get it, whatever. But now, like, please, I need the socks. Long ones, soft ones, no-show socks, every kind of socks. Please get me, don't get me socks, get someone socks. We need socks great gift idea in my opinion. Idea number four stems mostly from narcissism. Just kidding. But I think uh, anyone would probably like, I'm, I don't know. I don't know if I'm assuming that everyone's like me, but in my opinion, cameras are a great gift. So I have the typical vlogging camera that I use. This is the Canon G7X. Also takes great pictures. As long as you have good lighting, I find it's always like a 10 out of 10 camera and dark lighting, it's okay. It makes your face look glowier than Sony's from my perspective. I'm a Canon girl now. The, the one that I'm using right now is the 60 Mark II, but that one's really pricey. This one's gonna sit you at like $650, or I think that's what it was last time I checked or last time I got it, which was a year ago maybe. So this camera, I would recommend if you wanna start vlogging, if you like taking pictures, if you just want like a good consistent camera that's not your phone, you can attach this with Wi-Fi to your phone. It has like a little option. You don't need Wi-Fi, but the Wi-Fi of the camera can connect to your phone. And you can get the pictures right off of it. Not videos, but pictures, yes. I feel like it's helpful for that as well. And then I always, I really like Polaroids. This is the Fuji, is it Fujifilm? It is Fujifilm, Instax Wide 300. So this is the bigger one. It's gonna give you the more full-size Polaroids, not the little skinny ones, but those are cool too. I think it's a great gift idea. Make sure you get them extra Polaroids also if you wanna be nice because you know, it's just nice. It would be nice of you to do. But I think this is a great gift idea and I would be super stoked if I got this because it's really fun to make cute little nims um, and you can put them in picture frames and stuff. Really cute gift idea. Love, love this idea you should get them cameras. We just love to take pictures. Next gift idea is something I don't know if every girl would like, but I feel like boys would even like it too. I would love this gift, but I already have it obviously. But if you do a lot of things where you're on planes a lot or you're traveling a lot, or you just like need something to do to just keep your mind busy and you don't wanna always kill your phone battery, a Nintendo Switch. I am obsessed with my Nintendo Switch. I've been using it for ages, I feel like. I played Zelda Breath of the Wild. I don't know if y'all are Zelda fans, not everyone is, but there's a lot of games on here that you don't need like any previous skill or knowledge of the game to play. Stardew Valley is like this farming game where you like start a farm and you have to harvest, blah, blah, blah. It's really fun, it's very addicting. It's perfect like if I'm on a 10 hour flight somewhere and I'm just super bored, I don't like to kill my phone battery constantly. So I will play my Switch a lot. You can get Super Smash Brothers, you can get Mario Kart. You can get Pokemon if you played that when you were a kid on a Game Boy Color. Throwback, am I right? They just did a remake of it. It is so fun. I'm obsessed. <laughs> so I think Nintendo Switch is a really fun thing to get. You can get this for any age, I think, as long as they're not, you know, too cool to play this on a plane. I sure do. But <laughs> it's really fun. You can take off each of these controllers and two of you can play at the same time if you want to race Mario Kart or anything like that. 
um, I think it's a really good gift if you're the kind of person that needs things to do, like on a flight or something that doesn't have Wi-Fi and things like that. I think it's a really great gift idea for a lot of people, a lot of different types of people who like to rot their brains with video games. <laughs> Me. Oh, also, you can get them a Switch, and if they already have one, you can get them the games because uh, the games do come in like, you know, little like DVD kind of packages, but you don't need those <laughs> to download the games. You can just download them straight from the store, which I think is nice. So you can go either way. You don't have to have the disc or whatever. Is it a disc? I don't even know. I, but that's it. I'm not trying to sell you on any of these things. These are just things I have that I like, honestly, that I personally use that I would like as a gift. So that's where I'm coming from with this. I don't want you to think I'm like trying to rot your brains, video games or anything. Next gift idea. I think this is a fabulous gift. It's something that I enjoy that I use very, very frequently. So I would recommend some headphones, whether they need them for traveling, airplanes, whether you want them for your workouts or whether you just use headphones a lot. I don't know, I think it's a pretty normal thing to do. I think headphones are a great idea. Personally, I use these Bose um, Quiet Comfort headphones very frequently, especially on airplanes or if I'm traveling or if I don't want to listen to background noise at all, They're, they have this little switch on them that's magical, it just like drowns out all the crying babies on the plane. It's really nice. 10 out of 10 recommend. I've lost these several times and I have still bought another pair. I don't even wanna think about how much money I've spent on them, but they're a great investment. They run around 300 to $350, I believe. So if you want a serious pair, like a pricier pair of headphones. I also, I don't have them, but I've always wanted some AirPods. I think that would be a really cool gift idea. I haven't gotten them personally because if I lose these bad boys, like I'm gonna lose AirPods in like 45 seconds, literally. I just would open them up and they, one would be gone. I just know it already. That's why I haven't gotten those, but I think they would be a cool gift idea. And also the ones that I used to use for the gym that my sister stole from me, that Cheyenne, I'm talking to you, that I liked the most for the gym were the Bose um, Sound Sport. Um, in the ear headphones, they have the long strings. I just, I preferred those for a long time, but again, I bought like three pairs and I kept losing them, so I gave up. So now I use the over the ear ones, but they're not supposed to be sweat on, so I don't know if I would recommend those to you, but I do use those. The Soundsport ones that go in the ear, they come with three different attachments, depending on the size of your ear lobes, I guess, or whatever this bit is in here. And I always use a small pair and they fit really well in my ears. They stay in very well. I love those headphones. I'm gonna get them back from you over Christmas, Cheyenne. <laughs> yeah, I think headphones are a great gift idea if you want to spend in that budget range and your person needs them. My last gift idea, which I feel like every girl, person, human needs, but I guess not everyone really does, but I always feel like a room, a hotel room, a house, anything is kind of missing without it, is a full length mirror. Now I'm gonna link a couple for you down below, but I've gotten all my mirrors from Home Goods, and they're always quite inexpensive, anywhere from like 50 to $100. The most expensive one I have is my big boy mirror in my living room, and that one was $1.99. So HomeGoods has them very reasonably priced. I know Ikea has a good, I've seen the Ikea one in many people's households, and it goes very well. It's 150 to, I think it's $150. I'll link it down below just in case. But I think they add a lot to the house. They reflect light, so they make everything look more open, and it makes it look bigger because it's reflecting the room, and therefore making the room look extended and larger. And I think you can use it for selfies to see if you look good before you go out to make sure your outfit matches, etc. I think a full length mirror is just something really solid. And before I had one, like if my sisters wanted a gift or something, I would be like, y'all need a full length mirror. You don't have one and it's, I don't know how you know what you look like before you go out. How do you know your shoes match the hair or the, the th if you can't see the whole thing? You know what I'm saying? I think it's a good gift idea, but to me, I think that's a great gift for a girl or a boy or anyone because they're nice for the space and they're nice for usefulness and they're not that expensive. Alrighty, <laughs> Merry Holidays. That is going to conclude my gift ideas. There are millions more. I was thinking of like skincare and stuff like that, but I, I didn't want to overwhelm you. And then I think with skincare and stuff, it's harder and the girls should maybe pick themselves because they know what reacts with their skin best. Anyway. That was unnecessary information, but that is all. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope I gave enough things to kind of fit your budget. Happy Vlogmas, Merry Holidays. I'm really excited. I hope you, I hope you guys love this video. I think I've literally Googled this so many times, like Christmas gift ideas, because I just, I always go brain dead when I am put under pressure. So I tried to think of this early. I've been adding that list for a week or two, just to kind of brainstorm ideas for you guys and for me. So I hope it was helpful. And let me know if you want me to do a version for guys. I'm not as good at it, but I bet I could. And if you comment down below, I'll see what I can do there. So uh, that's all for this video. Oh, let's do a giveaway. So comment down below what your favorite gift idea is. Throw me your email. Just throw me your email. I feel like that's just easier. 
screw the Instagram thing. I always get confused with that. And sometimes people are private and then you can't find them and if you spell something wrong, okay. So do that and then I will gift you two whole cans and you can pinkify your hair or give it to someone who wants pink hair or anything. I think these are really cute and it's a good idea and I have six of them, so why not? So that's the gift idea for today. And we'll throw in this movement gift box too. Isn't this cute? Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so movement gift box and your hair dye. Or if you don't want the hair dye and you just want the movement or vice versa, you can let me know that too. And I can split up the gifts, whatever you think. I'm open to ideas here, okay? Uh, <laughs> but I love you guys so much. Thank you so very much for watching all my Vlogmas videos. I don't know why I just turned English. I'm done. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. That's all for now.